All right, welcome back everybody. Welcome to episode 10. So I did do a little research and um, I was gonna go do this Rats Valuables quest, but apparently it requires level two lock picking, or not lock picking, uh, pickpocketing, I'm sorry. And I just, I don't have the points for that. I have to be really high level to have enough stats. Hmm. So can't do that. Weird. So we're gonna finish up uh, this fort area. So there's a few things I can do. Um, let's see. The Berserker's Trust I can do. So we're gonna go talk to Fenris and get some XP, cause um, I do have the enough approval to become a Berserker. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna join the Berserkers, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna do all the side quests first. But we can at least get the XP first. So we'll start here, and then there's a few other quests we can do to wrap up this area, I think. This isn't really like a, a guide, it's more of just a let's play, right? Because I'm literally... Like, this is my first playthrough. How am I doing? Well... Scrappy seems to think highly of you, so it seems you're doing okay. Thorhild seems satisfied, and she isn't easily pleased. Good work. Tylus says you really helped him out. You've done well. Right. Now you have an advocate. You only need my approval. For that, you'll have to pass Rat's loyalty test. I should warn you, though. So far, no one has passed. So don't get your hopes up, okay? Let me worry about that. Your confidence is admirable, but listen to what Rat wants you to do. What sort of test is this? As you know, this is the former outlaw camp. Many of them have joined us, but not all of them hold us berserkers in high regard. Have you noticed the outlaw propaganda that's been circulating? Yeah, I talked to Wolf about it. Ah, I see. Well, that simplifies things a little. I'll keep it brief then. I was going to send you to Wolf anyway. Help him find the source of this damaging propaganda. If you manage that, I'll let you up to see Rat. We already found the source. What? <laughs> Honestly? Hmm. You're more efficient than I could have imagined. Can I go to the Upper District now? Well, let me see. You have at least one advocate, and you managed to find the source of the propaganda. I must say, I'm impressed. You officially have my permission to enter the Upper District. You're the first person I can send up there with a clear conscience. Still, you should see Rat straight away. He's going to want to talk to you. He's the only one who can initiate new Berserkers into the faction. I'm sure when he hears what you have done, he'll accept you, or at least give you a reward. I'll see you around. I have some things to do, especially now that the Upper District is open to more people. Where can I find Rat? Go to the Upper District and tell the Gate Guard Lothar I sent you. He'll let you pass. You'll be able to see Rat's tower right away. Alright, so I could go become a Berserker, but like I said, we're not going to do that. One thing I was working on earlier is the Unwelcome Morcon. And so I think I can work on that now because I have access to the upper city. So let's go work on that. So I should be able to talk to Chloe now. Because Chloe had her goods stolen, and apparently I need to be an, in the upper level to get it back. So now that we can go to the upper level, I'm going to go talk to Chloe. Says so I was a damn idiot. Hmm. 
about Ivan's groceries. Is the upper district accessible now? Civilians who have a guarantor are allowed back there. What? Since when? Since I made sure of it. It's about damn time. Then I'll straighten it out right now. You want to come? You might as well take this stuff with you. I'll give you a few shards for being my pack mule. All right, I'll go with you. Let's go. Hold on a second. We investigated that outlaw hideout you told me about. There was no sign of them there. Looked like someone tipped them off we were coming. Well, we knew they were smart. So what now? Nothing. We drove them away. That'll have to do for now. Just thought you'd like to know how the investigation was going. I'll keep working at it all the same. See you around. Haha, <laughs> they don't... They don't suspect me. Carry on. It's good to get out. I'm sick of the smell of this place. You're lucky you don't have to run a business. Breathing the same air as these idiots every day? Ugh, it's enough to make you choke. Can't we pick up the pace? Just relax. It's good for the legs. This used to be the entertainment district. That's how the old Duke kept the peace. How'd you mean? Simple. Those who partied till all hours didn't get off their ass so quickly in the morning. That kept the streets clear. But I want to show you something. Come this way. Say, rumor has it that you and Kaya... Well, uh... That's my goddamn business. Ah, that subject's a bit of a minefield. So, let's drop it. What do you want to show me, anyway? We're there already. This is the only place where you can really switch off. <sighs> Feel how fresh the air is here? No drunks up here? No stupid assholes with their stupid, constant fucking pickup lines. Hey, cutie. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just deal with this. <laughs> Got a problem, buddy? Keep walking. Oh, I, I, I just wanted to... Just wanted to get a kick in the head? I'm going. I'm going. That's more like it. All right, come on. I really don't want to talk to these assholes. Since the Berserkers took over the fort, the number of assholes has really decreased. But there's still too many. Good friend of mine lives back there. Hello, Tyless! You prick. You guys get along great. The old fella sells me his junk at exorbitant prices. And if I badmouth him, he jacks the prices up some more. So I smile in his face and silently pray for his death. Better clean the dirt off your boots. We want to make a good impression. They're not that dirty. It's just a joke. There's only one time for cleaning boots. When you've kicked a few too many asses. <laughs> Is that your specialty? There is no substitute for it when you... Stop! The upper part of the fort is for honorable citizens or those with direct invitation from Warlord Rat only. You're not coming in if you don't have a good reason to be here. Fenris gave me his personal permission to go in. I'm the one who found the source of the outlaw propaganda. Getting rid of the outlaws? That was you? You better not be lying to me. I will check. There is no substitute for it when you need to bring recalcitrant staff into line. But enough of that. It's not far now. Here we are. Leave the talking to me. Alvar is a damn nitpicker, but I know how to handle him. All right. What do you want me to do? Listen and shut up. You here again? It hasn't even been a month. 
You remember the tinned food and spices you gave me? That was, uh, let me think, 35 cans and, um... Good, you remember. I need the same shipment again. That's impossible. I'm in the middle of stock picking. Oh, who gives a fuck? Hand it over. My warehouse has clear procedures. I can't trust them. Pull your head out of your ass, or you'll be delivering the stuff to the dealer district yourself. You want me to go among the common people? Don't ask. Do! What? Oh, all right, all right. I'll see what I can do. You're lucky. You don't have to carry anything. You can tell your Morkon he's getting the stuff. Knowing Halvar, he'll have organized replacement stock in no time. And my shards? No pack, no shards. Doesn't it count for anything that I came with you? I really enjoyed our walk. But not enough that I'm gonna pay you. Now I gotta get back before those idiots burn my place down. So long! Well, I got a hundred EXP. So here's an interesting... I need to tuck the rat, I think, for... Strong Alliances? doesn't put a marker up. Oh, this one's been talked to Fenris? Some guy just told me you gave him permission to enter the upper district. Thought we weren't letting civilians up here no more. Thank you for coming to me about this, but he speaks the truth. I did give him permission. He and Wolf found the outlaws who were distributing flyers around the camp. Huh, is that right? Well, I guess that's something. That mean anyone can go up there now? No, only people on the list can enter. Anyone else needs an advocate. Right, got it. I'll head back to my post then. I'm busy. Come back later if you need something. Huh. Alright. I don't know if I'll get uh, experience for talking the rat, so... I think what I'll do is save the game and talk to him, see if I can get some XP. So let's see, I'm actually gonna save it. All right, it's saved. How do I get around? And there should be a teleporter somewhere around. Aha! Jax, you say? Yes, my lord. Alone? It seems Wolf the Guard helped him. That is very good to hear. Very nice. Tell the guards the upper district is open again. Very good, sir. Here he is, the man everyone's talking about. Welcome to my humble home. It's so good to see you here at the fort. You remember me? Of course. I'm sensing you don't remember me, though. Let me help you out. 
In Logan's day, I was a nobody. Just another rat down in the dirt. It was you who helped me. Gave me the push I needed. When everything fell apart here, Logan and the other rats jumped ship. Not me, though. I was the one who stayed. I fixed the holes in the ship. And now, I'm the captain. But that was a long time ago. I suppose I can't blame you for forgetting me. This is what you call a humble home? You think because it's big it can't be humble? Oh, I disagree. My home is humble if I'm humble. And I'm definitely the most humble person in the fort. But anyway, what can I do for you, old friend? Fenris sent me to talk to you. You managed to get rid of that outlaw propaganda the Claws were spreading. That nuisance went on for far too long. And to thank you for putting a stop to it, I'd like to give you a little money. Something to help you start a new life here. What's in it for you? What's that supposed to mean? This is a simple favor for an old friend. Take it or leave it. I can't say no to that. An excellent decision, my friend. I like to provide for the people I know I can count on. You know, should I ever need it. I, uh... And I know I can count on you. Now that I think about it, I could use your help right away. I've come across a prob... no. A challenge I could use your help with. What kind of challenge? I don't trust some of the... individuals in the upper district. I try to look for the positives, but, well, there are limits. Two people in particular. Barrett the Trader and Ejnar the Trainer. Go and see him. Find out what you can. Can't be too cautious, especially since someone tried to kill me. A rat always has to make sure no one steps on him, and the bigger the rat, the bigger the danger. I need someone who isn't known here, someone who can blend in, who can be a simple worker or a merchant. And what exactly am I supposed to do with these two? Just talk to them, get to know them, find out what they're up to. Start badmouthing me. Difficult, I know, when I'm such a great guy. Just see what they say, see if they like being berserkers. I'm sure you can figure it out. I need to know if I can trust them or not. Sounds like we got a deal. I knew I could count on you. Off you go. You're a natural. You'll be fine. Huh. Alright, more quests. Cool. I thought we were about done here, but uh, more XP. All right, let's go talk to these guys. Do a quick save. You the new guy with the city watch? What makes you think that? I guess you're not then. If you're looking to learn how to fight, I can't help you. I only train people with the city watch or who have Fenris's permission. Good day. I've got some questions for you. If you're after a free lesson, forget it. Just wanted to see how you're doing. We're... yeah, we're, we're okay. I mean, we're doing well. We are, right? Why are you asking me that? You fishing for information? I want to know if you're happy with the Berserkers. If I... what's this about? What in Ra... the devil? What do you want from me? You're not answering my question. I... well... uh... Lothar! Stop him! 
Stop! Stay right where you are. Explain to me why Ejnar is running from you. What did you do to him? I'm not a criminal. <laughs> is that right? Then why is our trainer yelling for help and running from you? I'm working for Rat. I was questioning Ejnar. He made a run for it, okay? Uh-huh. Anyone could say that. I barely know you. Do you want me to tell Rat that you're Ejnar's accomplice? Oh, shit. Fine. Just don't make me regret this. What do you know about Ejnar? Not much. He's a trainer with the City Watch. What's going on here? Rat suspects Ejnar of being a spy. Apparently, he is. And I just helped him get away. Damn it! What a mess. You have any idea where he might have gone? Nah, no clue. He's been here for years, but as far as I know, he doesn't have any friends. Maybe you could search his things. He lives just around the corner. Hey, I'm sorry I treated you like a suspect. Okay. Huh? Let's see what's going on. Oh yeah, there's some water up here I wanted to take. Socketing bench. If there's anything here, I don't see it. Let's sort go of check the other NPC. Is all this loot just take like I can take all of it? Are you okay? What are you doing? I don't know, it says I can have it. What the hell is this? What do you want? How do you like it with the Berserkers? <sighs> By the Pilgrim's Beard. Rat sent you, huh? That obvious. Ah, uh, you ain't the first. You even know why he's got a problem with me? You didn't think so. Let's hear it, then. I'm an emissary from Goliath. Ragnar sent me here to get equipment to the guards. Means I don't pay shit in taxes to Rat, and that slimy bastard can't stand it. He's dying to get dirt on me. Anything to get me kicked out of Goliath. He ain't get nothing, spineless dipshit. So you go back and tell that ugly scumball that I ain't going nowhere. Fucking vermin. Lives up to his name. Oh. So what was I supposed to, so like, maybe behind his house? Let's check the quest log. Search Ergnar's quarters. Uh, I guess I'll look again. There's nothing highlighting. Oh, what's that? Germal made of human skin? I have to write down my thoughts. I won't be able to stand it in this place any longer. I have no one to talk to. If there are other Morkons here, it seems like they want nothing to do with me. I think I'm assimilating into Berserker society pretty well these days, but I don't like it. I haven't heard anything from the Crotto. If 
for more than a month now. Have they forgotten me? Second month with no contact. Why haven't they been in touch? I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. I feel lost. I don't belong here. I can't even practice my rituals. It would give me away immediately. Third month with no contact. Or is it the fourth already? I've been pretending to be a berserker for almost a year now. I even managed to get housing in the upper district. I'm a good fighter. Revac chose me for this mission with a good reason. I managed to convince the berserkers to let me train them. And that's how I won their trust. But without contact with my Morcom brothers, without my blood rituals, without Revac, life is painful for me. I don't know how much longer I can take this. My blood for Revac, my pain... Okay. Um, he's gonna hide his book. Want anybody to find it? Looks interesting. Tuck the rat, apparently. Why is there another quest icon? The rat's closer, so we'll talk to him. So these two, Barrett and Ejnar. Ejnar ran away when I tried to question him. Let's be honest. Anyone who isn't prepared to answer a few harmless questions has no right to be here. I want you to make sure he never comes back. And I mean never. Any idea where to find him? I found a book at his place. And that'll help with your search? The binding is made of human skin. Ugh, Morcon trash. Turns my stomach. Listen, there's a traitor who's under our protection right now. His name is Ivan, and as it happens, he's a Morcon. For some reason, he doesn't want to leave. Which might be just what you need to find that damn trainer. If you help this Ivan, maybe he'll take you to the Morcons. And then, if you're lucky, to Ejnar himself. I spoke to Barrett, the traitor. Ah, what did she tell you? She says I'm not the first person you sent to spy on her. Oh, so she figured you out, huh? I'm gonna take a wild guess you didn't get anything useful from her. No results, no payment. You understand. So I need to go finish this Morcon quest. And he should take me to the other place and then I can find Einar, whatever his name was. Something's gotta be done. Who got hit this time? Fenris. Wait. The provisions from Chloe are on their way. Really? That's... that's amazing! I won't ask how you did it, just... thank you. You know what this means? 
I can get all my stuff and finally head back to Caracas. Won't take long. Wait for me. Right, all done. You're coming with me, right? Yeah, I'm in. Great. If you've got anything you still need to take care of here, now's the time. When you're ready, give the word and we'll be on our way. Um, is there anything else you need to hear? Yeah, I think I think that's it. Let's head for Caracas. I couldn't hope for more. Can't wait to see my family again. They're the light at the end of a really long, dark tunnel, you know? Anyway, follow me. Need to put distance between ourselves and the fort. I'm gonna talk to my husband later. We better hide our valuables better. You do that. See you later. Just hope we don't get stopped by the guards. Why would they stop us? Oh, no particular reason. You never know with these guys, that's all. Well, that could have gone a lot worse. Still time for it all to go to shit, of course. Maybe the guards are just glad to see the back of me. Anyway, let's push on. We got a lot of ground to cover. At least we're going downhill though, huh? Which route are we taking to Caracas? Hmm, I haven't quite decided. Going cross country would be risky though. Why's that? Do you want to wind up in the middle of a battlefield? When my lot and the Berserkers are going at it, getting caught in the crossfire isn't a great idea. Ah, we've left the fort behind us. Time for a quick breather, I think. You're not too worn out, are you? Don't worry about me. If you're out of steam, I got something that might help. Here, take it. Not the most pleasant, but if you need a second wind, it does the job. Let's keep going while there's still daylight. If you want, we could chat as we go, pass the time. What do you think? Be my guest. Great. No point suffering in silence, is there? Oh, this way. If I'm honest, I'd like to know about you. Wait, no, let me guess. You're going to guess about me? Seriously? <laughs> why not? We got a long way to go. It'll kill some time. So let's start with where you came from. It's complicated. Nuh-uh, no clues. Let me think. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure you weren't born an outlaw. You know, that's not exactly decisive. All right, very sure. You're not shifty enough to be an outlaw. So where are you from? Nope, don't tell me. No, that would be crazy. But but maybe... Um, give me a minute. Look out! <laughs>
damn ember flies are driving me nuts. Still, better than some of the things lurking around here. I got it. You were a cleric. Wow, wrong. Damn it. Okay, I give up. Does Zakor mean anything to you? The Alb homeland? You're shitting me. I'm not. The Albs are just a, a big part of my past. By Rava. Well, I'd never have guessed that. Didn't think I'd ever journey with a former Alb. Interesting times we live in, right? Okay. Need to keep my eyes open now. Expecting trouble? No, no. I just want to pay a quick visit to Danilo. He should be around here somewhere. Friend of yours? You could say that. What does he look like? Don't worry. I'll find him. It'd save time if I helped. It's fine, honestly. Just let me concentrate, okay? Hmm. A little bit farther. Right. Let's take a break. Weren't you looking for your friend? Yep. We found him. I don't see him. You're standing on him. Sorry, what? I buried him here a few weeks ago. And you're planning to what? Dig him up? Hey, I may be a Morcon, but I'm not a grave robber. But his remains do serve a purpose. He's a sort of guidepost. Well, his grave is, anyway. I had a few things nearby that could come in handy. It'll take me a while to find the spot, though. Maybe you could make yourself useful in the meantime? There are often biters close by, to the southeast. We'll set up camp soon. Would be good if you dealt with those beasts beforehand, though. Splitting up is a bad move. I'm aware of the danger, believe me. Why do you think I didn't want to travel alone? But I know this area like the back of my hand. And having a leg gnawed at while I sleep isn't something I'd like to risk. Oh, and when they're dealt with, you could cut off a few chunks of meat for our dinner. No point letting good ingredients go to waste. When you're done, head for a ruin to the east. Just. Go along the cliff edge and you'll see it. I'll wait for you there. Happy hunting! Well, looks like I have to... Alright, hopefully they're easy. Okay, just these guys, I think I can handle them. to see whether I've made it to the ruins.
Let's see, where... Okay. Uh, escort Ivan. This is over here. There you are. Successful hunting expedition? Yeah, I dealt with the biters. And the meat? Got it. Good man. Knew I could rely on you. Right. Let's make camp. No point in going any farther tonight. My feet feel like they've been put through a grinder. Ugh. Are you gonna help? Sure. Tell me what to do. Excellent. Many hands make light work, after all. We need to get some firewood. A campfire won't just stop us freezing. It'll put off some of the local critters. Won't be the coziest night I've ever had, but it'll do. Now we cook up some grub. Good idea. Luckily, the old cooking station's still in one piece. I can fix us a pretty mean sautéed potato. Can even teach you how to make it if you like. The first step is to make sure each potato chunk is well fried. Then let them cool a little before frying again. That's how you get them extra crispy. After that, the meat goes in. Careful not to let it dry out though. A quick sear, then cook it through with indirect heat. That's how you get the perfect texture. But what am I saying? You're probably not interested in the slightest. Here's all the ingredients you need, anyway. The campfire is all yours. Even if you didn't listen to a word I said, just try not to burn it, okay? Or yourself. Make yourself a double portion if you like. A single is enough for me, though. Shit. I don't know. going to happen to me. <laughs> oh, interesting. So that's where you actually cook. There's nothing else here. Here you go. Man, that smells good. Sure, it's tasty, too. You can hit the hay. I'll take the first watch and make sure the fire doesn't go out. We'll get moving again at first light. Sleep well. Exceptional. Ooh, water, I need that. Ah, he stirs. Good night's sleep. Ah, I took the second watch too in the end. Didn't want to wake you. Let's keep moving. Hey, I'm not gonna hold us back. Let's go. Listen, I uh, I think it's about time uh I need to come clean. About what? You won't find many more cons like me. In fact, just being seen with me might land you in hot water. Why is that? Because I'm not following Ravok's commands when I trade. Meaning what exactly? I've been trading with outsiders, which is strictly forbidden. 
My assignment was actually to raid any travelers we came across and take their stuff. That's what Danilo and I were doing to begin with, but it felt wrong. Did you kill them? Yes. Morcons don't see death as a sinful tragedy. It's a gift. Brings the peace of oblivion. But there's a difference between us and outsiders. <laughs> He does a lot of damage. There's a difference between us and outsiders. We have to earn our deaths. Well, most of us do. A few lose patience and take their own lives. Honestly, you people sound insane. <laughs> You're not wrong, but we have our strengths. Tell me something. Have you thought about joining us? I think we'd have plenty to offer you. As long as the option's still available, that is. The balance of power between our poachers and resistors might have become decidedly imbalanced. Ooh. I'd already be too late. So, what do you think? Where was I? Oh, yeah! So, what do you say? Let's just focus on the journey. That's not really a yes, but also not a no. Good enough for me. I'll skin you alive! <laughs> These glasses are cool. I can like watch up to the wall. Not long now. We're getting close to the grotto. You say that like it's a bad thing. Well, we'll have to see. What's up with this chest? It's like super locked. Moonshine, bag of Oh, there's not much in there. We'll check the loot real quick. Is there a cigarette in there? No? What was that? Scrap? Those other glasses. I can see items. Bad guy right there, you gonna deal with him? Oh, big, whoa, it's like a dragon. Looking at me.
are you doing? Let's go, buddy. Why'd you stop? Give me a moment. I want to take a quick look around. I'll be right back. Hey, where are you going, bud? Hmm. Are those tracks? They kind of look like... Nah, I'm just getting jittery. Okay, we can keep going. You find something? No, false alarm. Let's move on. Uh, those... Shit! Poachers! False alarm my ass. Shh! Just keep your mouth shut and play along, okay? As I live and breathe. Ivan, is that you? Tangus has been looking everywhere for you. Where have you been? Where's Danilo? He... He's dead. It happened a few... A few weeks ago. Weeks? And instead of going back, you waste your time with this stranger? I, uh... Look, here's what happened. We had a berserker caravan in our sights. It looked like a good target. Provisions for months, some resources, and... Uh, this guy. Uh, we were unlucky. They defended themselves with fireballs. Before you knew it, everything was in flames. Just chaos. Barely saved my own skin. I got out of the way. It was pure luck, but Danilo, well, Danilo wasn't lucky. I couldn't leave him. He wants to serve our cause in Danilo's name. Oh, really? Prove to me that your words are truthful. Kneel before me and swear it. Swear in Ravok's name, that's the truth. Almighty Ravok, God of Blood, Lord of Eternal Balance, turn your all-seeing eye upon your humble servant. Bear witness that I swear that everything happened exactly as described. If I have spoken false, let me suffer eternal agony. Get up. Ravok will decide if you speak the truth or lies now. Now tell me. Did you bring the provisions back with you? Of course. What do you take me for? Good. Well, I'm sure your friend will be happy to confirm your story. Step aside. You there. Get over here. Oh, no. You wanted to speak to me? I did. So tell me. Is the story Ivan told me true? Uh-oh. Yep, every word. Hmm, I see. Interesting. You really want to join us, huh? May Ravok have mercy on you if you don't mean what you say. Ivan, make sure those provisions get to the grotto. Go on, get lost. Praise Ravok. That could have gone a lot worse. I had a feeling that staying away for so long would cause a stir, but this is ridiculous. It's like half of Caracas is looking for me. Oh, not good. No, not good at all. And you still want to go back there? I got a responsibility, I guess. 
Not sure even I can wriggle out of that. But most of all, I can't let my family suffer for my actions. Well, we need to keep up the pace. Day's not getting any younger. Thanks again. For what it's worth, you could have ratted me out back there. Don't even want to imagine what would have happened if you had. Well, let's just hope we don't bump into any other old friends. <laughs> Follow me. Might as well check this little hut here. Do all the more const. What's in here? Bringer of blessings. Energy weapon. Seventy damage. Seems all right. Stop dawdling. Check this uh, wagon out real quick. All right, that was worth it. Let's move on. This is a pretty long trip, huh? That animal's mine! Oh, there we go. Waypoint. Kind of want to beat this guy up. Come help me, buddy. Huh. Guess I can't bait him into my little follower guy. Stop dawdling. I was gonna get some free XP, but I guess not. I'll take care of that. Okay, we need to be extra careful now. What? Why? There's a bloodthirsty bastard of a creature that lives around here. 
What kind of creature? It's a, uh, well, a mountain troll. Should we hunt it down? Hunt it down? We'll get torn apart if we try to fight that thing. Then we better get going before the troll finds us. As for me, I'm just relieved, you know. Anyway, let's get going. Not much farther now. We'll have to go our separate ways when we're close to the grotto. I'm gonna check over here. What's that? Quick. Better we don't. Anything else? So they're fighting. Let's get out of here. What was I about to say? The resistors aren't my greatest fans. I think you were. I'm sure he'll be fine. Look, I know my people. Trust me on this one. You sure you won't go missing again? Who are you? My mother? But no, not this time. By the way, I suggest paying a visit to Gosta. Who's that? Technically, he's our innkeeper. I think of him more as a fungus. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really help very much. Oh, yeah. The sloppy serves up tastes like rat with sawdust. Probably is, but it fills you up, I guess. And if you need a few shards, sure he'll have some work going. Look out! <laughs> We're nearly within spitting distance now. Doesn't time fly when you're traveling in good company? Hopefully, Dimitri is the only one on guard duty. Marat's always in trouble. Why is that? What was I about to say? Why is that? He's a resistor. Yeah, you'll see what I mean soon enough. Anar. That's the guy I'm supposed to find and you know beat up. So you found me. Why'd you run away from me at the fort? You started asking questions about Rad and the Berserkers. Panicked, okay? I, I thought I'd been busted. It's pretty obvious Rat sent you, but now the secret's out that I'm a Morcon. Or, I was. What do you mean? You were a Morcon? You found my journal. Did you read it? Yeah, I know everything. Then you don't need me to go through it again. This is my worst fear, being forgotten. 
I can't go back to the Berserkers, and the Morcons don't even remember me. They won't let me in. They say they don't know me. I haven't held rituals for Ravok in years. I look like a Berserker, talk like one. I have... I had a good job. I was respectable once. And now I'm here. Homeless. Are you sure there's no chance the Morcons won't take you in? They won't. I tried everything. Everyone I knew there is dead. I offered to give myself up as a prisoner, but they didn't even want me then. I thought I could be a Berserker spy, see? Looks like Zarina herself doesn't want me there. Said I was lucky they didn't kill me right there. Now, I'll have to find another way. And you've got no other place to go? I thought I'd try my luck with the outlaws. I know a lot about the Morcons and the Berserkers. That kind of information's gotta be worth something. I could probably forget about the clerics. They don't really go for deals like that. And I'd rather be in the gutter than go to the Alps. What do you think I should do now? Hmm. What do I do? He's a trainer. Maybe I'll bring him back. I can put in a good word for you with Rat. You do that for me? You know Rat might kill us both if you take me back to him, right? So, I don't think that's the best idea. No point risking our lives. I appreciate your offer, but the Berserkers won't take me back. Not after I left. Alright, so I have to either send him away or I have to kill him. Um... You shouldn't show your face in the fort again. I wasn't going to, but do you have any ideas? Somewhere I can go? Why not try the outlaws? I was thinking the same. I'd have a good chance of surviving if I told them my story. It's funny. What is? Me. My life. First the Morcons, then the Berserkers, and now the outlaws. Talk about a downward spiral. Thanks for your suggestion. I gotta go. Oh, uh, one more thing. You know, I used to be the trainer at the fort for the city watch. I can teach you something if you want. Anything I can earn will help. Come see me when I get to the outlaws. Might be able to show you a thing or two. See you around. What can you teach me? What do you want? What does he teach? Melee weapons. I'll get that brute. Oh, it's a critter here. Drop your weapons. What the heck are these? Here we are at last. The grotto. Home of the Morcons. Ah, shit! Marat's on guard duty. Why does that matter? I'm sure it'll let me pass, but you? The odds aren't exactly stacked in our favor. Before we part, there's something I want to tell you. Listen carefully, okay? There's a third group of Morcons that exists alongside the Resisters and Poachers. This group stands for something that most of my people find abhorrent. I can't tell you anything else about them or what they're trying to achieve. But let's just say this. If you stand up for something right and just, you'll find them. Or they'll find you. Anyway, it's time to go our separate ways. Take care, my friend. If you ever happen to have more shards than you know what to do with, come pay me a visit. Hopefully see you around. Huh. 
Huh, these things are kind of weird. Alright, episode's going pretty long, we're over an hour, so I think it's a good time to stop the episode. Uh, we did quite a bit, pretty fun episode, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we're making some good head headway, looks like we're going to a new uh, faction now, maybe get some new quests, get some more XP. I think that's kind of the goal, right, is just to go around and do as many of the quests as we can before I actually join a faction. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. We'll just pick this up next episode and see what we can do here and get a few more quests done. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.